Hello everyone. Let us find the value of y in this problem. Solution. Okay, so we have y to the power of 3 over 2 to be equal to 2 to the power of 3 over 2. And um, from here we have y to the power of 3 over 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 equal to 0. Okay, what I've done is bringing everything to the left. And then the next thing I would like to do is um, to rewrite the power here. Remember, if you have a to the power of 3 over 2, it is the same thing as a um, it's the same thing as a to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Okay, so I'm going to apply the same thing here and I will have y to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3 then minus 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3 and the whole of this is equal to 0. Okay, this is what um, we have. And now, do you know that if you have a to the power of 1 over 2, it is the same thing as square root of a? Okay, so if you know this, apply it here. So we're going to have um, square root of y to the power of 3 minus square root of 2 to the power of 3 and it is equal to 0. Then let's look at this standard again. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, it is the same thing as a minus b, right? Okay, into in the other, we're going to have a squared plus a b plus b squared. This is what you will have. So I'm going to apply the same standard here. a is now square root of y and b is square root of 2. So we have from, from here now, we are going to have a um, minus b. That's going to be square root of um, y minus here we have square root of 2 and this will be equal to sorry this is not equal to we have this in the first bracket rather this is for this then in the second bracket we're going to have square root of y okay because a is y and i'm going to square this to square whatever that we have over here then plus here we are going to have um, a and a is square root of y multiplied by b b is square root of 2 b is square root of 2 and then plus b squared which is square root of 2 then we will square this again now the whole of this is now equal to 0 so from here we have square root of um, y minus 2 minus square root of 2 in the first bracket then in the second this will go with this so we have y then plus multiply these two together we're going to have square root of 2y then i have plus this will go with this we have 2 then this is equal to 0. And then from here, I can now apply 0 product rule to say that um, square root of y minus square root of 2 is equal to 0. Or what I have in this bracket is also equal to 0. But from here, we have square root of y to be equal to square root of 2. Right? And now, this can just cancel this, so that we have y to be equal to 2. 
so this is the first value of y then to get the other values of y we will go straight to what we have over here y plus square root of 2y plus 2 equal to 0 now the first thing I will do is to make square root of 2y the subject so I'm going to have square root of 2y which will be equal to 0 minus 2 minus y and then square root of 2y is equal to minus 2 minus y so what do I do you can square both sides put these two together and then you square now this and this will cancel 2y will now be equal to minus 2 minus y into minus 2 minus y okay this is what I just wrote now we have 2y to be equal to minus 2 minus 2 will give 4 minus 2 times minus y will give plus 2y then minus y times minus 2 will give plus 2y then minus y minus y will give plus y squared right so from here we have 2y to be equal to 4 plus 4y plus y squared right and then I can rearrange this in a better way so we have y squared then plus 4y this will appear minus 2y then we have plus 4 this is equal to 0 now we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 equal to 0 so now we have a quadratic equation and um, we want to provide the solution to this okay so this is the quadratic equation that we have and we can solve this by using the formula method so we have y to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac the whole of this is over 2a now to continue what is going to be our a our a is 1 our b is 2 and our c is 4 meaning that y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 because a is 1 and c is 4 the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 now if I continue y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have 4 minus 16 and this is over 2 okay this is over 2 then to continue we have y which will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12 and then this is over 2 now let's continue okay so from here y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 12 multiply by square root of minus 1 and this is over 2 what I've done is to pick out the negative from 12 now y from here is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4 12 here is 4 times 3 then we have multiply by square root of negative 1 and this is over 2 to continue y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 in there is 2 so we have 2 root 3 then multiply by i square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we put i and this is over 2 now we can arrange this in a better way so we have y to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 
2i square root of 3 over 2. From here, 2 can go there and 2 can go here. So we have y to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus i root 3. So from here, this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let me bring the three solutions together. We have y to be equal to 2. This is what we got in the first um, solution, the first um, answer that we got. Then y is also equal to minus 1 plus i root 3. And then y is also equal to minus 1 minus i root 3. So this is our y3, y2, and y1. Thank you for watching.